Yesterday we were talking about reading and reading well, but today we're going to be talking on about annotating, which is a technique that helps us read well. Now, does anyone understand or already know what annotating might mean? Annie. Highlighting. Mm-hmm. Brennan? Taking notes. Yeah, it's kind of like a little bit of both. Highlighting, taking notes in the text. It's really about interacting with the text, which means reacting to the text. And we do this because we want to understand the what, when, where, and who about the text. What's going on? We want to be able to firmly understand that. And after we understand the basics, we really want to take annotating to help us understand the deeper meanings about the text. Why is the author saying that? How are they saying that? What themes are they using? And to help us understand these two points, we often take notes on certain interesting things, what I like to call the points of interest. Now, what might we want to take notes on? Does anyone have an idea? Right. Main events? Mm-hmm. Characters. Mm-hmm. Cult. Yeah. Right? Vocabulary? Yeah. All of these things the author's going to use in certain ways because the author does want to convey a message. And so, for example, Brian, I believe you said vocabulary. They might want to use certain vocabs to convey certain emotions. Um, one thing I really like to think about is gut feelings as well, because we're interacting with the text, and so we're reacting to the text. And sometimes you're going to get a feeling to the text that something might be out of place, or something might be different, and you're not really quite sure what, but you know it's there. And you want to just make a little mark by that, and so we can go back to that. When you're interacting with the text, you're going to want to express all these through asking questions, summaries, connections to other texts, just thinking about what it means as you go along. And so we're going to practice all these techniques that I just talked about with the poem. So I'm going to read this poem out loud. Uh, please follow along on your papers, and afterwards we'll come together and talk about it. Sounds good? Yes. Okay. The Little Boy and the Old Man by Shel Silverstein. Said the little boy, sometimes I drop my spoon. Said the little old man, I do that too. But worst of all, said the boy, it seems grown-ups don't pay attention to me. And then he felt the warmth of a wrinkled old hand. I know what you mean, said the little old man. Now, okay, we finished reading this poem. Let's annotate it and let's talk about it. Let's establish the what, who, where, and when as much as we can. Who's talking and what's going on? Does anyone have any ideas? Yanni? It's a conversation between the middle, middle boy and the uh, middle old man. <coughs> mm -hmm. Very good. So we have the who. All right, now... What are they talking about? Does anyone know? Right. They're talking about their life experiences. Okay, very helpful. And so we have these. Does anyone, can we establish the when or the where? No. no. And so it's completely okay. Sometimes the author leaves it out and we have to infer with that and that we can do that with our annotations and make inferences on the side. Let's move on to the why and the how. How is the author presenting this poem? What's the tone? Yanni? Yeah, I believe in the beginning it's kind of funny, and by the end it sounds sad to me. Okay. Um, could you say why you think so? Because uh, when the little boy mentioned that he dropped his spoon, and the old man said he does that too, but when they mentioned about um, the boy mentioned that he didn't get enough attention from the grown up, and the man said he, he did that same way. So I guess. Does anyone else have anything to say on the subject about Tom? Uh, Brad? I think the tone is happy and uh, happy. Because in the end, a uh, little, uh, little boy and a little old man feel similar. Because uh, the boy feels a wrinkled old man. Okay. Yeah, and so in the text, you might want to underline those certain parts that we brought up. Maybe laughed and maybe warm an old hand. And we'd circle that. Alright, class, we're going to go over the game like we practiced. Alright, like we practiced. Annotation, 64. Just repeat, for comprehension. I'll go first. And I'll go second. Category, things to keep in mind. What? Why? When? <coughs> Who? Where? How? Summaries. Connections. Questions. Underlining. Boxing. Highlighting. Starring. Color coding. Circling. 